While we've seen some major events around North Alabama canceled due to the ongoing pandemic, the show will go on for one of America's largest horse shows. Really exciting. We're talking about the Racking Horse Celebration. It gets underway tonight through Saturday in Decatur. And joining us right now, you see him, Lance Meisenheimer, the president of the Racking Horse Breeders Association. Lance, good morning. Good morning. For those not familiar with the Racking Horse event but would love to take the family out, check it out, what is it about? What makes it so popular? Sure. Um, well, of course, uh, you know, horses, everybody seems to love, but uh, we, uh, we've been putting on this event now for, for more than 40 years, almost 50 now. Um, this will be a, actually a reschedule event from the spring. We do a spring celebration and the fall celebration. Uh, the spring celebration is a four-night event. Um, we, we attract people from, from all over uh, to come to northern Alabama. I myself, uh, right now, I'm in southern Illinois. Uh, that's where I live. So, uh, you know, northern Alabama is my second home. So uh, we, we love coming there. Um, people from all over the area come. So, uh, but it's, it's a family event. I've grown up uh, born into this. Uh, and uh, myself, among many, uh, have done this for many, many years. So, uh, we know, like I said, know people from all over. And, and uh, it's just a fun family event. Uh, that, that's been going on, and uh, we, we like to promote it that way. Mm -hmm. We were just watching some video, Lance, of some, some of the horses trotting out there in the arena. Exactly how does that work out uh, as far as, like, competition or anything like that? Sure. Um, actually, they're not trotting. They're gated horses. There you go. Okay. Uh, so they're, so they're, they're very smooth, as you can see. If you look at the top of the head, I don't know if you got video, uh, you said, but you look at the top of the person's head, it, it's going to be smooth. Yes. Uh, there's no bouncing or anything like that. They're gated. So that's, a, that's one of the big features of our horses. Uh, they're enjoy to ride. Um, we've got a wider range of, of horses for, for every type of uh, person that you're looking or, you know, what you're looking to, to do with them. Um, we've got the, the obviously have the trail horses that, uh, that you'll see people riding around the, in the trails for a, just a, a smooth, nice, uh, leisure ride. Uh, we also offer the, uh, those events for those horses. And then uh, we, we make your way up through the, through the uh, performance horses where uh, there, there are a lot more action to them, as you can probably see. Um, so we, we, uh, we like to offer all that. And then we actually have the speed events too. So we have the, the horses that are going to be flying around the ring going super fast. So that's always a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we like to, to offer a, a wide variety. Our horses are very versatile, uh, which is a, which is a good, good thing for, for everyone to, to, it's got something for everybody, yep. I guess. And so if you want to go slow or you want to show, or you want to go fast, Hey, we got it for you. So it's fun to watch for everybody. It's a wide variety. Little known fact here, I actually grew up with the trail horses Fantastic. that he was uh, nice. referring to there. Yep. Hey, yep. before we let you go, Lance, we want to know, the event's going to be at the Morgan County uh, Celebration Arena. That's off of Highway 67 East. Can you talk about some of the precautions to keep everyone safe during the pandemic, kind of what you're doing differently out there? Sure. Sure, yeah, of course, like everybody else, it's going to be a little different. Uh, the, the main thing is we're excited to uh, maybe offer a little bit of normalcy right now. Uh, getting people uh, to, to show horses again. Uh, it, keeping horse people cooped up all, all winter and all through summer has been hard. So uh, we think a lot, of, a lot of people are excited. But with that, uh, we, have to be, we have to be smart. Uh, use some common sense. So that's the main thing. We're, we've got, of course, uh, hand sanitizers. We're doing socially distancing, um, even in our office, uh, even in the, in the arena itself. Um, so we will be spreading people out. Um, we're not going to be setting up chairs in the box seats where you, people can bring their own chairs if they want to, but we're going to make sure everybody stays, you know, spread out. Um, even in the bleachers and things like that, of course. Um, the uh, even with the exhibitors, mm -hmm. uh, we're limiting the number of people that can be in the warm-up ring or, or in the. Um, just just asking people to really use common sense. We understand the seriousness of this. Um, it's it's a it's it would have been easy to cancel, but it's going to be harder to probably put it on and try to do it responsibly, but um, we, we've just stressed it to people that we want them to be as responsible as we can. Absolutely, so. and and we wish you all the best. It starts tonight all the way through Saturday, the Racking Horse Comp yep. celebration out there in Decatur. Lance Meisenheimer, the president of the Racking Horse Breeders Association. Thanks again for joining us, Lance. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, we appreciate you. Time now, 6-11 on your Wednesday morning.